So we're gonna revisit an old coelacanth deck that turbos out Barrier Statue of the Torrent. We're gonna upgrade the deck by using Abyss Keeper to special summon coelacanth if you happen to have one in your hand. Abyss Keeper can be linked using two water monsters. If this card is link summoned, you can special summon one fish from your hand to a zone this card points to. A downside to this card is that it cannot be used as link material the turn it is link summon. So in order to get rid of it, we'll either have to destroy it, shuffle it back into the deck, or banish it. In this video, we'll be using Trishula, Dragon of the Icy Imprisonment. You can special summon this card without using fusion spells by using three monsters you control with different names. So let's show off the combo. The goal is to end with Barrier Statue and at least three extra deck monsters to protect it. So we're gonna special summon a Water Extender. Then we're going to normal summon Leafish. And we're going to pretend it got negated by Imperma or Ash Blossom. So we're going to ignore the Coelacanth we sent to the graveyard. So because Leafish was negated, we can't use Degaris to summon Coelacanth from the graveyard. But we have a Coelacanth in the hand. So we're going to link away our two water monsters into Abyss Keeper. Special summon Coelacanth from the hand to a zone Abyss Keeper points to. Activate our Coelacanth by discarding a card. Then we're going to do exactly what we do in our Dugaris combo. We're going to summon a Launcher, a Tuna, a Griefies, and a Leaf Fish. So we're going to Synchro Summon into Trishula using Launcher, Tuna, and Coelacanth. Trishula will banish a card from their hand. And then with our Greefies and Leafish, we'll Synchro Summon into Monoceros. And we'll use Monoceros to bring Coelacanth back from the graveyard. We'll Chain Block here with Greefies. And here if we have only Water Monsters in the graveyard, then we can Special Summon our Launcher. And because Abyss Keeper cannot be linked away, we'll activate our Fusion Trishula. We'll banish Abyss Keeper and Trishula. And then we can choose to banish either Launcher or Monoceros. In most games, you'll want to banish Launcher, because you'll need Monoceros in the graveyard for Leaf Fish's effect to shuffle three fish back into the deck to draw a card. And then we'll summon Marincess to link away our Fusion Trishula and Monoceros. Using Leaf Fish, we'll shuffle three fish back into the deck. We want to keep a tuna in the graveyard, so we're going to shuffle three other fish back into the deck to draw a card. Now we can activate our big fish again, discarding a card to summon four fish from the deck. We'll summon a Griefies and three level four fish. Then we're going to Synchro Summon using Griefies and Coelacanth and two Sotol Chenging. And we're just going to pretend that we don't have Toad since Toad is getting banned soon. So we'll Exe Summon here into a Stealth Kraken. We'll activate Marintus Coral and Enemy to bring back our Griefies. Griefies will then activate its effect to special summon a fish with a level lower than the amount of cards in our opponent's hand. And using Griefies and a level 4 fish, we'll Synchro Summon into Prima Donna. Prima Donna will then target the banished card. Special Summon Barrier Statue from the deck, adding the Banished card to their hand. And using Prima Donna in Tuna, we'll Synchro Summon into Dragite. Now we've completed our end board, and using this combo, we have four cards banished. Chenging will lower the attack of the opponent by 100 for each banished card, so we're not going to make it easy for the opponent to get rid of Barrier Statue in battle. You can do this exact same combo with Dugaris, we'll just be banishing Dugaris with the Fusion Trishula instead. 